Hi everyone, it's Catherine with Gracie Designs and this is Mornings with Gracie. Well, it's 2021 and I have some great projects that I cannot wait to share with you. Today we're going to do some machine embroidery and if you're a beginner, this is a project for you. Today's project is an initial keychain. You can make them in any color, and they are so easy, you are going to want to make more than one. The supplies you will need to make the initial keychain are felt, a key ring, ribbon, your embroidery thread, scissor and or rotary cutter and mat, clippers, temporary adhesive spray, your hoop, and of course, your embroidery machine. I have a Brother PE 800. Uh, I would love to um, know what kind of machine you have. Please comment below and let me know. And uh, let's get started. Let's set up the embroidery hoop. We don't need any stabilizer for this project. Which is another reason that it makes it so easy. Tighten up the hoop. Make sure that the fabric is tight enough. And then we're going to cut this piece off, which we're going to use for the back part of the keychain after we sew it. As you can see, the letters are built in to the machine. So we are just going to set up our one letter for our initial. I'm going to use this font and we will make the letter M. We're going to make it a medium size and set. Next, we want to put a border around it. So we're going to hit the add button and we're going to hit the border button. We're going to do a square. Borders are also built into the machine. We're going to select this very easy stitch to outline the initial. And we're going to set that in and size it so it fits a little better. OK, it's centered, hit the edit button, embroidery button, and we are set to make our initial keychain. We'll put our hoop on the machine. Put the foot down and we will begin to embroider. Initial is done, and now we will do the border. Next, we will add the ribbon and the back to the project. We will now trim all the threads.
front and back. Okay, we'll now cut the ribbon about three inches. And then we're going to use our temporary adhesive. We're just going to spray it right on this little square. Don't really want to put too much, just enough to stick the ribbon and then put the backing on. We just need to secure them. Fold the ribbon in half. You want to leave this out about half an inch. You can cut this piece um, a little smaller as well. Just place it on the back. That adhesive should keep this in place so we can stitch the border and connect the two pieces together. Now we go back to the pattern on the machine and we don't want to restitch the M, we just want to restitch the border. So you have this little icon here with the needle and the plus and minus. You hit that and you minus and that will bring you back to the last um, item that you stitched. Put the hoop back onto the machine. We will now do the border one more time. So now, if you turn it over, you see our back is secured. Hopefully, the ribbon did not move and is still in place as well. We want to make sure we cut these threads on the back so it looks as nice as the front. Take this out of the hoop. And let's look inside, and there is our ribbon, nice and secure. Now we will cut out the keychain. I'm going to use my rotary cutter. You can use either your rotary cutter if you have one, or a scissor. I'm going to do a quarter of an inch to the border. I'm going to do the bottom and the two sides first. The top cut, I'm going to use the scissor. It's uh, small enough. Um, piece of fabric that I think we can get a straight line. So first I'm going to do the back part and that is about a half an inch so we want to go quarter inch. There, turn it around, pull that out of the way, do a quarter inch on this side. And if it doesn't match up you can trim it. Now pretty well. Get these corners a little rounded off. And then we'll put on our key ring. There you have it. A very easy initial key ring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what kind of machine you have.
and stay tuned. More projects on the way. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share Gracie Designs. Thank you.